Hello, welcome back. I got some fun mail. Lee and Tiffany had shop updates and I bought from both of them. Um, I just wanted to show you what I got. These are my bits from Lee. I ordered this guy, these guys, and this. So cute. As soon as I saw this guy, I knew I needed one in my life. Look at him. And I finally own some of Tiffany's work and I could not be happier about that. Pretty sure I only ordered this and this. So thank you so much, Tiffany, you're the cutest, the sweetest. And she sent me a little sample of some of her old sticky notes, which I really appreciate and the cutest little note ever. I'm also really stoked I got one of these because these are my favorite. <laughs> Don't accept exposure, guys. Always take cash. I love them so much. I'm so excited. I'm gonna fit some on my bottle. This, I fell in love with these. I don't know where to put it because I'm worried it's gonna get gross on my keys. So I wanna keep it somewhere, maybe on my camera or something. So how are we? Low battery, great. I'm about to do a sponsorship. Okay, we have battery. This video, this vlog is kindly, kindly sponsored by Anna Luisa. I have actually worked with Anna Luisa in the past. They were my first ever sponsor on this channel and I'm very excited to be working with them again. I think they're a really, really great brand. So, Anna Luisa are a affordable, sustainable jewelry company who make high quality, long lasting, jewelry. Their pieces are made from 100% recycled gold and silver and they recycle everything that they don't use. So since we last worked together I can already see that they're using less packaging. We've got a little card in here saying thank you. Jewelry and the box. The pieces come in these lovely velvet pouches which I love. These are really great for storing the jewelry and pretty much apart from the box is the only packaging they have. So the pieces I picked this time um so i sent them a bunch of links to the pieces that i liked the most and then they picked out what they had available and sent them to me and i love everything that they sent these were like my favorite pieces so i'm very very excited can i just say their jewelry is my favorite jewelry i'm not like a huge jewelry person but it's shiny it's pretty it's mystical, it's totally up my street and I love it so much. It's recycled, it's great. So the first one is obviously this, the one I'm wearing. Um, it's so pretty, can you see the shine? I'll do a little up close shot for you here. This necklace is called the Carrie Reversible because it's reversible and it's designed by Carrie. This one is probably my favorite since it has two sides. I found the video of the creator where she was talking about it and she said each side represents the sun and the moon and I love that. The second one is this RT, I don't know how else to describe it, sort of pattern with like faces and little moons and stuff. Uh, this is just called Sun, really love this one. Look at the shine, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I really, really love the design, that's why I picked it. Got like a little eye in there, it's just, it's just my vibe, you know. And the last one is this lovely crescent moon with this little star next to it, so cute. Love this one, again. And the little diamonds, which by the way are lab grown, no mining required, are friendly diamonds. So those are the three necklaces that I was gifted and I'm in love with them all. Thank you so much to Anna Louisa. So the pricing. Prices start at $39, which is very affordable for long-lasting, high-quality, sustainable jewellery. I definitely think their pieces could make really, really nice gifts for someone. And they also do um, star sign jewellery, so personal gift. So the carry reversible necklace is £69. The sun necklace is £69. And the moon necklace, which I didn't even mention, is called Rosa. Uh, that is £46. I definitely think those prices are reasonable considering everything that goes into these and the finish. But Anna Louisa are currently running an exclusive Black Friday deal so you can get a little bit of money off if you're interested. I believe the sale runs until the 23rd of this month, November 2020. Uh, if you're interested, check out the link in my description and check out their wonderful brand. Thank you so much to Annalisa for sponsoring this video again. You guys are awesome. And I need to draw my peach topa piece because it's the 4th of November and I'm three days behind, four days behind. Oh dear. That really doesn't show up on camera at all. Look.
got beauty, food and style. It is Friday morning today. It's warm. As you saw from just that little clip last night, that's all I filmed yesterday. It was bonfire night in the UK. Obviously we couldn't do anything. A couple people had some fireworks going off in the distance, which was nice, but uh, just had some sparklers. Tried to take some fun pictures. Uh... <laughs> it was a good time. Um, so some of you may know, if you follow me on Instagram, um, Yesterday was my last shift at my day job. So today is technically my first day as a fully self-employed artist. I have a lot to do today. I've already done the main important thing that I had to do today, so that's good. And it's 12 o'clock. I've been doing stuff since like nine, so I feel good. I was just sending off some invoices and like a final draft for this client project that I'm working on. And yeah. So, that's kind of a big announcement and I just kind of dropped it in. Yeah, I'm, I no longer have a job. This is my job now. It's so surreal to say and it still feels weird. Um, I mentioned basically we've gone back into lockdown in the UK right now. So we're in a four week lockdown. They say it's four weeks, but they've extended furlough to March. So, yeah. <laughs> so I was meant to leave at the end of November, but I got cut short because uh, the hotel that I worked at has closed down for the four weeks so it got cut short and it does kind of make me feel better that like it's not just me that's not gonna be there for a while like everyone else is having time off too so it's stuff it's just it's weird I've worked there for almost four years you know that was my routine that was my my normality and now it's gone uh, it's also a lot of my social interaction and now it's gone <laughs> but I have a lot more time now and something I wanted to mention actually was Patreon. I don't have a Patreon. I didn't have the time to work on it. Um, would love to work on it now that I have the time to do so. Obviously, it's, uh, I mean, it's going to take me a little while because I don't know what I'm doing, but I have had questions and I would love to open a Patreon. So if you want that, if you have any ideas what I can give as rewards, let me know. Uh, I don't really know much about Patreon, to be honest, but I've always wanted to dabble in it. So yeah i'm gonna try and do that again i don't know how long that's gonna take i have a lot of other things going on right now that i'm trying to focus on i'm also stressing because i need a new computer because this one i mean i love this computer but it's old and it's it's done me well it's an acer it's pretty good i'm a pc gal okay but i've been thinking a lot lately about <laughs> my workflow and I do a lot of work between my iPad, my phone and my computer and it's such a pain in the ass getting stuff from these two devices onto here all the time and it's so slow. Like I said, it's like six or seven years old. My dad bought this for me a long time ago as a gift and I have loved it very much. It runs Sims 4 perfectly, which is like all that matters. I mean, it doesn't anymore because it's old. So I've been looking to get a Mac book but the only problem is the video software that I use to edit my videos isn't compatible with Apple and video software takes a long time to learn. I don't know if I'm ready to one, learn a new program and two, fork out all the money that Apple want for their video <laughs> editing the software. So I don't know, I'm thinking about that. I also need a new iPad, but the thing is with my iPad, it's run out of space. It's a 32 gigabyte iPad okay it's got no space on it it's it's completely full but it's mostly just full of my procreate um files because I draw a lot on big files like big canvases and it's mostly that that's taking up all the space so my thought process is if I get a new laptop I can transport all of my old files onto there and save space on here because there's nothing wrong with this with this iPad I've had it three years and it's it's not even slow it's just it struggles with all the things that's on it but there's nothing wrong with it and I don't really want to trade it in or anything I like it you know it works perfectly and there's just I don't see any point buying a new one so I might get a new computer and use that as kind of like storage for the iPad and just keep this one until I can afford to get a new one because like I said there's nothing wrong with it what I have done so I've downloaded the trial version of Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm gonna start editing this video on there just on the trial and see what it's like. If I hate it, I mean, I don't know. Premiere Pro seems to be my best option if I were to move over to a different program because it seems the most similar 
to what I'm using at the moment and I can afford it because it's you pay it for it monthly instead of like 300 quid straight up which I cannot afford on top of a MacBook. So I'm just, I'm struggling. Anyway, I've been talking for ages. Let's do some stuff. lights um, which are less strainful on the eyes when you're working at a computer screen basically and they asked if I wanted to try out one of our lamps and um, in the UK in the winter time it gets dark at like 4 p.m. and I can't draw when it gets dark past that time because I can't see for one my lamps are terrible and my eyes do start to hurt when I'm staring at that screen for ages when it gets dark in this light like the ceiling light does nothing. Oh, look, it's got a fancy box. It looks good. Okay, so lights up to 1.5 times the illumination width of a conventional lamp. Detects ambient light with a built in light sensor and adjusts to the most suitable brightness for your eyes automatically. Enables you to manually modify the brightness and color temperature according to your preference. So, I mean, it sounds pretty great to be honest. Do you want to go out, love? Oh, I've got to build it. Okay, okay, check this out. This is the bowl, see? So it's curved and it stands up on this and it can go like directly over top, which is gonna be great. I'm really excited to try this out later. But first I gotta put it all together. All right, well, I didn't really have to build it. I just had to put in two little screws. And I love this. So excuse the messy background, but I just had to put these in and it comes with this little cover which I mean that is satisfying isn't it and also this I think you can push the cable into the back here and you can bunch it up if you want to if it's pulling or yeah I think that's really useful oh, it's got a long cord that's good it comes with every adapter that you could need and then the actual socket and then this just slides on like that Boom, and we're ready to go. Oh, it's definitely light. I, yeah, I'm gonna try this. Well, I'm gonna tidy up first and do some recycling. And I'll talk about it a bit more when I understand how it works more. <laughs> My little review of the BenQ e-reading LED lamp. I personally really like it. I have really enjoyed using it so far. It's been a really nice little addition in my studio for the very dark English evenings and dreary days like today. The lighting in here is just terrible and it's been really great for that and being able to take pictures of my drawings when there's no light outside. I took this picture using this and it looks like I used the window, which is pretty good. It has an ambient light sensor which automatically detects the brightness of your surroundings and adjusts according to that. It has a brightness dial, which I love. It also has settings for warm light and a cool light. The cool light comes in really useful in the evenings, like I say, and I want to be able to see the colors of my drawings properly. And I really like the warm tone for if I'm like packing orders and I'm just chilling. You can set it at pretty much any angle you want and it's super easy to put together and it looks really cool too. So that was my little review. If you need a new lamp, I would recommend it. Definitely do your research, but it does everything I need it to. I'll leave some links in the description if you want to get your own. They might be affiliate links, I'm not entirely sure, but I'll leave a little asterisk if I can find out. Um, 
if I'm not sure, I'll, I'll put an asterisk anyway. But yeah, I really love it. Thank you so much to BenQ for reaching out and let me try out their lamp. Hello. We just appreciate this mug for a second. So I did a thing. Are we ready? I bought a MacBook. Got myself a MacBook Pro, uh, this year's edition, so 2020. So I decided to just do it. I thought, as I said, my computer's really slow. It gets slower like every day by the day. I thought I could use, not a distraction, more like uh, a bit of motivation. Considering I've just started doing what I'm doing full time, I thought it would really speed up my workflow, make it more efficient, swapping between my all my devices, being able to take it anywhere I need to go. Obviously I'm not going anywhere at the moment, but I mean in the house, like editing in my bed is gonna change the game. I really want to put a lot of focus now into my business and for one make up the money that I spent on that <laughs> because I know it's not like the best timing considering I've just quit my job to invest but I, in a way it's also kind of the best time because it's like okay you have less money now so you need to work hard. <laughs> anyway I don't know why I'm justifying it. Um, I bought a MacBook. And I'm using Premiere Pro currently. I enjoyed the trial. I might swap over to Final Cut Pro at some point when I can afford to buy it, because in the long run, it's gonna be cheaper. And, you know, there's so many different programs out there. You may as well try them all and see which one is best for you. It's trial and error. Anyway, I'm about to draw my last piece for Peachtober. It's the 9th of November. I did terribly. <laughs> it's no, no pressure on anyone who still wants to finish it. This is just my personal goal. Was to finish it in October so I'm a bit like Ugh. but it's fine you know it's not a big deal I'm finishing it now uh, the last prompt is moon which I'm really excited about I currently have no ideas but I'm gonna film it sorry about the noise by the way I got the fan on it's warm today so I ordered some accessories very important SD card reader so I can edit videos a new mouse rechargeable no batteries needed case to protect then I got a hard shell case with a little silicone uh, thing for the keyboard so I don't get it grubby. Although that means I can stop putting stickers on it. Trying to decide what stickers I should have put on the case. tidy up I've had to move my monitor and everything obviously I'm not completely done with my computer but for now I'm moving it because I want a cleaner space so very minimal I don't like having much on my desk especially for when I pack orders and I get everything out and then I have room for everything so this is it the only thing that will stay on my desk when I'm not in here is this and my sticky notes which I need to sort out because <laughs> That's kind of like my filing system and it's not the most efficient. The rest of my studio is still a mess because I just have things everywhere that don't have a home. I mean, let's ignore this part. <laughs> I'm really struggling with my moon sketches. One day I would really love to have like a big cushy chair in my studio when I have the space for that. <laughs> I really don't like drawing at a desk. I know that's weird. The only theory I have for that is that when I was at college, I would draw at a table and I hated everything I was drawing in college. Maybe that's it, I don't know. But I much prefer to draw on a bed, sofa, chair, somewhere I can like lean back instead of leaning over. So I might vacate to my bed for a bit and just do some doodling and then um, come back to my desk to film it when I have the sketch done and everything. Also died when police performed in police's care. More than just a Batman. For the next three days, things were less during the Tottenham riots. <laughs>
feeling of someone sort of pushing my legs with some sort of unknown force every once in a while. I live in a house that is really huge out here and we'll probably get lost again. What? And my anxiety is what? so high. What's the matter? Hey. Or that certain parts may be something that's important to the story. Hey, Mum. Tuesday today. I have been doing lots of drawing so far and I've answered lots of emails. I've been sorting out my inboxes because they were crazy. Uh, I still have a bit more to do but I wanted to say hello. So I'm currently actually designing some tissue paper and a stamp because I'm working with no issue. Some people have an issue with no issue. Um, <laughs> I'm aware of the outsourcing problems that they have. I've heard that they can ship from China, which is obviously not very carbon friendly, earth friendly. Because their whole thing is sustainability and eco-friendly products, so that's just an issue that some people have with them. I thought I would mention that. Because I'm in Europe, I'm not sure where mine will be shipped from. I will find out when I get it. I haven't sent off for it yet. I'm still designing it, but I am excited. I just want to give it a go. Everyone's kind of giving it a go. I want to give it a go and get a stamp. I've always wanted to make a stamp. Anyway, so I've been working on that. I'll show you the design because you might enjoy it. But I'm nearly done with that. Anyway, I'm gonna go and do some more drawing now. I have so much drawing to do at the moment, which is like, it's great, but I also kind of enjoy doing like other things. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw. I can't show you what I'm drawing because I'm probably not allowed. Um, you might not find it very interesting anyway. But, yeah, I also want to do some editing. It is a super lovely day today. Just laid all my peach toba pieces out together and they look so cute all together. We're obviously missing one because I took part in Moss Toba, which was number 13 and I didn't do this because I didn't have time. But look! Cute! I never did tell them what I saw. I really don't know how to tell them. It is on my friend's property, so I guess I would suggest putting up cameras, but what even was it? Again, I'm really excited about these. Okay, I'm gonna open this one first. This is from an artist who I've got to know quite well. She's very, very lovely and she buys from my shop. I feel like it's been a long time since she sent this actually. Oh, okay, they sent it back and then she had to resend it. So she said it's all spooky vibes and she wanted it to come for Halloween but it didn't, but that's fine. I am happy all year round. 
for Ada. Oh my gosh, this is cute. Oh, she put in a Puerto Rico postcard. How cute is that? Oh, cutest note ever. Thank you so much. The purple with the spider webs. I love that. Oh, she sent me an original. So sweet. This is really cool. Getchy. She has put so much love and thought into all of this. I don't feel like I deserve this. Stickers make everything better. This is true. The spooky ones are so cool. Oh! Okay, we've got Don't Be Dragmatic, Bonjour Ma'am, and Let's Be Frank. Oh, and Dead on the Inside. This one, look at this. Now that is cute. Okay, wait, this is the cutest thing ever. She sent me this little frog key ring, and apparently these are native frogs in Puerto Rico, and they sing every night, and it's cute. She said that I should look up their singing. I will. I'm definitely going to do that right now. <laughs> That is cute. Oh, it must be so nice to be able to hear that every night. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much, Charlie. You really didn't have to, but I am very grateful. And to have little souvenirs from where you live as well is just so nice, very personal. The next one is from, I think this is from Hyderu. I love her work so much. She said, wow, thanks so much, Ada. I love your work. Gonna treat myself in November in your shop oh thank you you don't have to but thank you but look i'm so excited i got the little patch and got some stickers okay for a start this ribbon i just love that her whole like all year round halloween vibe Aww. she gave me a free print that's really sweet i'm so excited this guy i'm obsessed with this. He's like the, my favourite thing I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> Cutest little thank you cards. I love ordering from new artists. Okay, I got some freebies. Thank you so much. These guys are so cute. Look at the panda. And then I ordered these guys. A little patch. I do not know what to put him on. I don't want to waste it. So I might like look for the perfect jacket or something. I do have a, a denim jacket, but it's, it's okay. And a little bat dude, who's my favorite. And I can't remember if I ordered this or if this was a freebie, but thank you if it was. And if not, I ordered this guy. <laughs> oh my God, I just love her work so, so much. So many stickers. And then my last one, which I'm, so excited about this is from shane planet shane on instagram you've probably seen me sharing her work because i love it and we've become quite good friends she's really cool both like the office who doesn't like the office but there was a whole thing with this because there was a customs charge and like she was trying to pay it and i was waiting for them to tell me about it because i needed the tracking number but i didn't realize that she had it but whatever it's fine it's here now <laughs> and it came yesterday and i've been waiting till today because i wanted to film it Wait, I'm not gonna read. She wrote what's in it, but I'm not gonna read what's in it until I've opened it. Look at this little, little labels. <laughs> I'm really excited. It's like Christmas. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god! So she makes crochet things. Uh, you can tell by, the, I showed you earlier. Um, okay, so she made me banana scrunchie oh my god should i tie my hair up it like matches well it would have matched my hair perfectly when i when it was freshly dyed okay well adorable <laughs> and also she made me this little strawberry pouch oh my gosh this is so cute okay i see it's got a little tie in the front wow this is very impressive i could never make something like this look at this oh my god so it's a fanny pack slash like crossbody bag which i'll probably use it as to be fair you just tie the little thingy and then you can wear it oh my god okay wait my little phone in there guys 
look at me this and my hairband which is probably falling out now but it's okay it's so cute thank you so much shane i cannot get over i really can't get over how sweet and thoughtful this is i'm gonna wear this on my wrist so you can see it so thoughtful and she also sent me one of her little keychains little strawberry gal i love the fruit vibes it's so cute shane thank you so so much as you know i was really really excited to open this and it's beyond my expectations thank you so much I really didn't have to don't thank me for being an inspiration thank yourself for being wonderful definitely keep doing what you're doing and definitely go and check her out if you're not following her on instagram because her work is just so sweet she makes these little bears just so cute um but yeah wow <laughs> thank you i love it Oh dear. <laughs> so as you saw, I placed my no issue order. Excited for that to come. Took me ages to get the artwork finished for that. Bloody vectors on iPads with no space. <laughs> it was fun. Anyway, I think I'm gonna eat now because I haven't eaten yet. I need to do some more work for some for a client project, so I might do that in a bit or might do some emails or work on listing my Inktober originals. Peach Dover originals. Peach Dover. Yeah, I did some order packing and a bit of drawing. I started a drawing for a friend last night, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I hope it goes well. It looks good so far, but if I ruin the face, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll have to show you that another time because she watches my videos, so I can't show it. Currently, um, these cat stickers that I made for Halloween that I'm not selling, I'm currently cutting the cats and the stars out because I'm going to be selling my Peachtober originals from this year and my furry little peach inktober pieces from last year. I'm going to be listing all of those on my shop soon and I wanted to give little freebies away of everything but I'm running out of stickers to give away as freebies. So if I can cut out like 60 of these in time, I'm going to give like a tiny little sticker set with each original. <laughs> I'm just cutting out the tiny little cats as you can see. And if you buy an original, hopefully, get this tiny little sticker set. <laughs> so cute. I thought it would just be such a, a shame to waste them, because I ordered quite a lot. And the cat is cute still, so if I could be bothered and I have the time. <laughs> I've cut out like seven or something, so we'll see. That's the plan though. But I'm going to get back to this now and... I'm going to end the video now because it's getting quite long. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. Uh, I feel like my studio vlogs haven't been very studio-y lately. I don't, like, I apologise about that. A lot of the stuff I'm doing I can't show. And then, like, most of the other physical stuff I'm doing is, like, packing orders. And you see that a lot, so... <laughs> I showed what I could and I almost forgot to say but don't forget to check out Anna Louise's Black Friday deal. The link is in the description and thank you guys so much again for sponsoring my video. Yes, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hopefully I'll see you next time. <laughs>